So I've done a few PC tutorials. Uh, one of them is on my channel, but I've never really done a video dedicated to testing PC components and preparing for the build. Okay, so before we get on to the video, a word from our sponsor. Duolingo is a free app where you can literally learn any language you want. Just literally, look at how many languages they have. They range from French, English, even English as well. If you don't speak English and you speak another language, you can go to English and you can just learn from any base language. And also, it is as simple as just downloading the app, opening the app, select a language, in this case I'm going to go Chinese and you can start from scratch if you don't know anything about the language or you can check your level here and take a test where you can get placed by the algorithm. Duolingo encourages you to learn and helps you understand when you make a mistake. They also have a premium subscription for no ads, no interruptions, unlimited hearts which means you can make as many mistakes as possible, get offline lessons, repair broken learning streak once a month, and supports the goal of free education. You can download Duolingo for free um, in the description below. It will be a link, and you can get one week of premium access for free. Now let's get on with the build. Okay, so first things first, we need to choose our parts. Um, I started a poll on Instagram, and we're going for the Ryzen 5. 3600X. For the um, RAM, I think we should best go with 32 gigabytes. And I'm recording this PC is for productivity and design. So I could have went for the Corsair Vengeance, but I don't want to. We need the freaking, you know, the thermal paste. Uh, we should go with the uh, Western Digital Green, but I don't know about the Samsung. 850 evos so yeah now if i rotate the bench backwards um i asked paul they wanted the b450 gaming x but today sorry guys i'm going for the b450 ms2h motherboard so let's put that there mm, and you guys also wanted me to go with the 1660 ti but this since this one isn't usually for a gaming pc I'll be going with one of the Radeon RX 570s. Uh, they're the same thing. Let's just pull one of them out and we'll just put that on the table. Last but not least is the power supply. This build is going to be using the 650 watt. That's upside down. 650 watt Silverstone Fully Modular 80 Plus Gold Certified. So yeah. Okay, so as this video is dedicated to testing PC components, all you need right now is the motherboard, GPU, CPU, uh, the RAM sticks, and the power supply. So chuck everything else aside, and also, yes, also one more thing. Rest in peace, motherboard. Exactly why you need to go for your test, because if you accidentally drop stuff, yeah. And also this AOC monitor that AOC sent over to us and it's a giant 21.5 inch LCD monitor. So yeah, uh, you also need the monitor which we will put aside for now. But we will get on with the build for now. Okay guys, so let's first start off with unboxing the power supply. Uh, you'll need this for all your other stuff, so yeah. Alright, so first things first, get rid of all of this stuff. You will have a whole bag of cables, so take these out, obviously, and also take your power supply out and you can put them back in the power supply, which is super quick and good. And it's pretty good to be honest. Alright, so if you come over here, um, you'd want to take the power supply and also just place it on like a desk or something and then grab your power cable which is this one right here um you can just untie this cable 
pretty easy stuff to do. Chuck that away. Pull out the cable. Make sure this is off and plug this thing in. Uh, this time, turn the fan up for now. And then make sure this is like this. Plug it in. And turn the power supply on and ground yourself with the power supply. And that's not really much, but that's all you need to do for now. Otherwise, wrap your cables around the other way so you can use it when you're because it's a fully modular cable, so let's get on with the build. Okay, so let's first start off with unboxing the motherboard. You guys know how this works. Uh, and also make sure to not lose the I.O. shield. So you know, just chuck everything aside. And do use your motherboard box as a anti-static workspace. Okay, so now after the motherboard is unboxed, you will next unbox your freaking CPU box, which, there we go, I think I got it, yep, there we go, pretty easy to do, you can just unbox this, just a quick unboxing for you guys, take out all the stuff, the CPU, put that aside, grab the Wraith, Put it here and put the box aside and take your CPU you know how this works and be very gentle with it and just install the CPU and the way you do that is by finding the golden triangle on the socket and the CPU just drop that in oh whoops ping down ping down Okay, now you just install the cooler, which is very easy to do. Just tighten it here. Screws on each side, and it should be fine. And also, I want to tell Intel something. Look at AMD's Wraith. Learn, please. Make your CPU coolers a bit better because, I mean, yours right now kind of doesn't look as good as theirs, so yeah. Okay, so for memory, we're going with 32 gigabytes of um, RAM. Yeah, there we go, that's the word. 32 gigabytes of uh, RAM rated at uh, 3200 megahertz. Should be fine for what we're doing, but I mean, we wanted to save a bit of money, so we would have went for 3600 megahertz, and yeah. Uh, I don't know what cast latency this is because I can't see it on the freaking packaging and it took me a long time to get these RAM sticks out. So yeah, right now steps is just to install your RAM sticks and yeah, that should be fine. Thank you guys, so now we're gonna do the GPU, so just do this. Ooh. RX 570, what a beast, well it's not really a beast, but I mean, what a creature, uh, it's not really a creature either, but just what a card, because it's a card, it's a graphics card, damn, this card looks sexy, alright, so, I didn't even plug this off, chuck that away, um, I forgot about these, one sec. You don't actually need to do this right now, but all right, so just install your graphics card. Also, put your motherboard to the side as possible and just install your graphics card, just like that. Okay, so first you need your 24 pin cable and uh, yeah, so you just plug in your 24 pin one. You also need your um, PCIe 8 pin, which is this one right, uh, freak wrong connector, um, which is this one right here. Just plug that one in. And the last one you'll need is the 8 pin EPS connector, which only goes in one way, which is this way. And I keep on plugging it upside down. So, yep, make sure all of these cables are in. And now, let's wire them to the motherboard. Okay, so first things first, you do your 24 pin, uh, make sure you get 
the um, you need to make sure you didn't make a mistake like I just did which is not combining these two so you need to combine those two first then plug in make sure you do that until you hear, hear a click like that and then grab your BCIE you can just slot that into your graphics card there's no specific order you have to do this in but here you go also the last one which is the um, A pin EPS connector all you've got to do is connect that over here and that should go in yep there we go and that's it for now Okay, so first thing first, you also need a keyboard as well. So, I've got this new membrane keyboard and mouse pad from I don't know where the hell this company is, um, or whatever. We've got this keyboard and mouse, so let's first unbox this. So, get rid of that. Place the keyboard down, and we all that. Also, get the mouse. Then, untie this cable, just because we all know. Um, yeah. I don't like, I don't like, uh, these cables because they're really bad. And then I need a mouse pad, I just realised. So first, I'm, uh, just connect this, I don't care about cable management. Just connect it to one of the USB ports. And I hope I'm connecting, yeah, good. Um, and the other one, which, oh god, I really hate these. Okay, so now after you've set everything up, um, just you you can now, since there is no case, uh, the way you actually start this system is by locating the front panel connectors, which is right here. Um, I think it's this one? Yeah, it's this one, and just short the pins, wherever the one it is. I can't even see. Yeah, just I'm going to short this and then I'm going to come right back. Okay, so now I have finished the build and it's working very fine. And now it booted to screen, so that means, you know what that means, um, it means this video is over. Alrighty guys, thank you guys for watching that video. I really enjoyed building this PC, or showing you how to test bench outside of a case. So now you know that trick, make sure next time when you build a PC, you should do a test of your products of your actual I mean of your system before you actually build it because that way you can diagnose stuff better so yeah this is sponsored by Duolingo thank you so much make sure to download it in the description below and as always peace out